Hey guys, my name is Ismos and today let's look at an amazing text sharing software that is basically a ripoff of Substance Designer, which is amazing because you know Substance Designer is the industrial leader in text sharing softwares. So if these guys are ripping off Substance Designer, you know you're getting something worthy using. I'm not even sure how they're able to get away with this, but uh, more free tools for us then yay and uh, more support for them. This is Texture Lab and uh, it looks and functions exactly like Substance Designer and uh, even the way the nodes, the icons are arranged uh, look exactly like Substance Designer. Again, I'm not even sure if this is legal or something, but uh, it is open source and you can download it directly from Textella from this link here. I'll leave a link in the description so that you can check it out. It's very, very amazing. It is still a work in progress, so it lacks a bit of functionality, but as I said, it is designed to look like Substance Designer and functions exactly like Substance Designer. So if you are a Substance Designer uh, person, then this application is going to be amazing for you. It can also export shaders directly into Unity with all the parameters so that you can change them on the fly. Uh, but uh, if you want to use them in other 3D applications like Blender, then you would have to export texture images are to use are there so let's uh, jump in and uh, show you how to use it so again you can go to the link in the description to download a windows and linux version so just download the one that fits to you and uh, let's go into it and uh, see how it works uh, just to go quickly through the the interface i'm just going to open up an example here go through it and uh, maybe also try to recreate it uh, from scratch so if we go to examples go lined uh, marble tiles you see how this looks so it is an application uh, that is used to create shaders or materials are to use in 3d packages or game engines so their interface is uh, divided in two different sections you have the 2d view uh, which is just just basically a preview of whatever node you're working on so each node you select on you will give you a preview of how that node looks and I at your right here you see the properties or settings for that node for any node you have selected and uh, here you also have a 3d view just to see how the final thing is the final shader or material is going to uh, look on the on any mesh and uh, you can change between uh, a sphere a cube or even a plane and a cylinder just to see how things look you can also change the tiling here just to upscale or downscale uh, the texture and the great thing about this is that this is a procedural workflow so you can change anything you want and at the end of it if you are done with the material you can expose different parameters you can do is export out a texture images PBR texture images over the albedo or diffuse no more maintenance and roughness so to export that you just go under export zip file and I just select where you want to export it so I've already exported this to uh, this folder all you would have to do is create a principal uh, shader here you can use ctrl shift t and then navigate to where you have those images select them and they will be fed into the principal shader as materials and uh, this is how you would utilize uh, the materials and you can see they look really great and very very realistic so so the way he created this shader he started with a polygon and then used the transform 2d uh, to scale it down and rotate it as well into this kind of kai shape and uh, then blended it with uh, this brick we're going to, to recreate this shader so i want to first go through all the nodes uh, that you use so that they are not a surprise to you when we start using them and then he used this grid this brick generator with a light scale and has no offset at all inverted that and I blended it using the blend uh, node here to mix this with this to get this and then he used the tile to rip to make them repeating uh, to get that pattern and I uh, inverted that and I uh, also think he also has this polygon how uh, he changed let me see what parameter he changed okay yeah there is this gradient option that he used uh, to kind of give it that uh, angled shape and that is going to come through as a bevel in here so again he tiled it at have something like that then transform 2d actually he was creating this here uh, so you want those details to be in and then tile it again here he scaled it and rotated it tiled it and then blended it with the results of uh, this here after inverting it and that 
went into uh, the metalness and the roughness and the roughness so i think for the roughness he reduced the output minimum here and the output maximums so that it's not so that is uh, it's not too reflective and not too rough and then for the towels he started with uh let's see he started with this checkerboard texture uh he added a mirror but i think i don't think this goes anywhere he used it with uh, some noise texture to get in these details and uh, fed that into the albedo uh, the albedo also came with this uh, mask node that he blended with uh, uh, this here to get uh, those streaks of lines so he started off with uh, a line line cell uh, noise texture and then used a warp node uh, to warp it so that is a bit what and then warped it even further with uh, a cell texture to get this kind of effect and uh, warped it even further tiled it blended it blended it even further then tiled it even further blend and uh, finally mixed it with uh, this so let's create a new project and uh, recreate this so yeah the first thing we're going to do is uh, start with uh, uh, with the metallic uh, thing so let's uh, start here so all the nodes you want to use are going to be located in this library here uh, and i think they're not as many as a substance designer but uh, uh, i think in the future more will be coming so if we search for polygon you can see that uh, we have this polygon node and uh, if you select it you'll get all the parameters that uh, are being used here and all you have to do is change this to a four-sided uh, figure and then we need to transform it into uh, a kite shape so to do that we need to find a transform 2d 2d node transform connect this to that and then select that rotate this by 45 and scale it down then we can find a brick generator uh, just search for brick generator select this uh, change remove the offset and uh, increase other scale as well uh, so that we only have I uh, change the rows that you can blend the two color one color two I think I need to increase the scale of this just a bit in the point two and then point two so if I do this and then do this we'll get the same result I get a shape like that I uh, remember because I also want to scale this down just a bit and instead of using this I'm going to use this like that and uh, we can change this to let's see add and I scale this down even further into that now we want to invert this using an invert and uh, feed that into uh, the metalness. Now, if you look at this, you can see what we have now. You can see how the shader is starting to look. Connect this to the normal map. And we now have some normal detail. Saying use an palin noise and uh, then a cell line and then a warp. Let me just connect these. Now we can also find also a different type of noise let's try fractal noise and again uh, let's this time use a directional warp and directional warp see the kind of results we're getting not exactly what he has but uh, we just Instead of using this, I'm just going to find a different noise. We don't really have to follow exactly what he did. So let's uh, find ourselves another fractal noise and uh, use that instead of this. Now this can give us some nice tiles, I think. Then uh, if we want to colorize this, we can again, we can just use a blend node. I'm just going to copy this, copy the paste and uh, uh, just give this uh, a nice color. Let's
then you can also play with the roughness a bit let's first make it shiny uh, you can also use this noise as our roughness to break up uh, the tiles just a bit basically with this story i just wanted to show you the workflow and uh, if you spend a little bit more time on this you can get even better results uh, so then after you're done you just go and file you can just go and export and export uh, the zip file and then you can use that in blender or any other 3d application yeah thank you for watching again the download link is going to be in the description so that you can check it out for yourself thank you